Alchemist and Earl Sweatshirt now, they secretly released a collaborative album under a fake name. Allegedly. Uh, allegedly. Let me get my air quotes. Allegedly. It's a fake album cover, song titles with, uh, it's the whole nine, like all of it. And nobody has found it yet. Um, whoever finds this, I think is going to be, I think Terry was saying this earlier before we uh, went live. Like whoever this person is that gets it and finds it is going to be, but what was that? What did you compare it to, Terry? It's gonna be, it's gonna be similar to Ready Player One. Whoever finds this album, yeah, is going to be instantly um, internet famous. Yeah, yeah. It'll be Mr. Whoever Beast gets, out here. There's your 15 <laughs> minutes of fame. To My last. goodness. Yeah, and, it, it, and they they will be uh, <laughs> they'll they'll be who they'll, they'll be those guys or, or girls whoever it is that finds it. Like it's gonna be crazy whoever finds it, but um. Just from like a, I guess a creative standpoint and looking at it from an artist standpoint, um, what do you guys think about them doing this? I actually think this is dope. I think it's something different. Um, it has people curious and people are trying. I know people that have hit me up and say, please let me know if y'all find it. Please let me know if you mm -hmm. find it. And you know, I pretty much said the same thing. So for some reason, I like it, man. I think it's it's exciting. It breaks the monotony. It's a little something different. So I'm all for it. And I still haven't found it. Don't know where to look. But uh, Lon, what do you think about this, man, overall? Just, you know, how they've done it and the hoopla and everything that's going around. It. I mean, they could very, very possibly just be trolling the entire Internet. Right. This is, this, is a very, it too. This, is, this is a very high possibility. And if they are, this is doom level trolling. Right. So <laughs> props to them if that's what it is. Um, maybe it's a homage to doom. I don't know. But um I, it, I also with the, with the amount of music that like Alchemist puts out, it would not surprise me that him and Earl randomly got together and made nine songs in a month or something, and then they're it's just chilling. They're like, "Hey, wouldn't it be funny to do this?" You know, and then they just did yeah. it. You know, like, um, yeah. I, I feel like if it's on if it's really on a random YouTube channel where nobody has like it's not connected to anything. Yeah. Shoot shoot man like you may never find it. You literally may never find it because it, it could just be you know how many YouTube accounts there are. That's so what I'm I, saying. Yeah. It's like boy. So it's a crazy um, rabbit hole that you have. It, it is. It is. So I you know maybe there's going to be some uh you know maybe some hints that'd be kind of cool. But I think I think if it is real. Mhm. Mm excuse me. If it is real, I think it's dope because it 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 just I don't know, man. It's just, it's something, it's different. It's new. You know what I mean? Like, it's like making a project and it's creating this entire spectacle around it. Um, and there's such a huge Earl fan base, you know, like yeah. it's really niche, you know, and Alchemist is kind of the same. So I don't know, man. I think it's kind of cool. Now I'm not, I'm personally not a, the hugest Earl fan. I know people, I know that's blasphemous, but, um, you know, I, I like, yeah, Earl. I think, I think he's, I think he's dope. Yeah, I think he can rap, but he, I, you know, I, I don't fiend, you know, for for Earl music. But at the same time, like this would be, this would be something dope to check out, you know. Yeah, like I'm, I'm the point, like Lone said. I think you even added to the folklore with the idea of possibly having, um, you know, some hints, like throwing some clues out there or something like that, making it, you know, that much more fun. But no, I'm with it, man. Like I'm. I want to hear it, and like you said, it could be just doom level trolling. Terry, what you think, man? You, I, I looked a little bit. I ain't gonna front. I looked. Yeah, I, I, I skipped <laughs> a little bit to see if I could find those some, but um, just just based off the fact of thinking about that Ready Player One and and possibly being able to use our platform to to uh oh you know, a little. A little following, a little nod from Man. an okay player or you know, things yeah, of that nature. Yeah. But um no nah, man, I think it's I think it's pretty dope. Um that it's this elusive album out there. Um I don't like what are the steps to find it though? Like I was literally typing in uh stuff that that uh sweat Earl sweatshirt that said uh yeah. mm, um different people that that produced even even the, like what he typed out when he was saying nobody found it i even tried typing some of that yeah. stuff in the youtube yep. seeing if that might trigger something 
We Let's see, I came up empty handed, but we I had a know, comment. Man, it, we had a comment on on the YouTube video that I put out uh, yesterday or maybe the day before. It said, "What did they say?" Hold on, let me pull it up real quick. Uh, ah, uh, where where are they at? Right, give me a second. But you can keep, you can keep talking, but but no, nah, I think um, it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of like uh, Mac Miller actually had a secret page that he used and did different things on too. That I guess a handful of people knew about though. On oh, some burner but account he, type stuff. Yeah, but he he never said who it was. Oh, but it okay. wasn't okay. it wasn't music though. It was more like uh, just a random page of uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. But, I mean, it's not far fetched that something could be out there, but at the same time, it could be a uh, a serious level of trollery. It's even a word going on it's, with this album. It's so 2020, 2021 to think that this is troll, like huge trolling. Like the it's an actual possibility though that it's li- they, somebody just could literally put this on the internet and the world could go crazy and we're talking about it. Like that's just the world we in right now. They really could not have an album out there. The thing about it is, is it's only going to appease the heads though. Because to, yeah. to Long's right. point, um, it's Earl Sweatshirt. Yeah. If we're talking about Odd Future, yeah, Future is Tyler the Creator first and foremost. Uh, and you might can interchange him with Frank Ocean as far as um, mm-hmm. musically what people want to hear. The internet, maybe. But yeah. The the internet. Internet, well, the internet ain't. Are they technically uh, are they Odd Future though? I mean, I don't they're know affiliates. If they're technically, this maybe it's they're, affiliate. they're affiliates. Yeah. But um, I mean, it's it's Earl Sweatshirt is and Frank is yeah. uh. Taco, you know, producer, whatnot. He was actually on the um uh, on that Dicky show. Oh, Dickie's was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a uh, little Dicky friend. Taco, I didn't know that. Like his, his yeah, engineer on that show. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, That's Taco. On that. Or or maybe it's a Taco doppelganger. I don't know. Looks like me. <laughs> He's a <laughs> doppelganger, <laughs> but nah, man. It, it Earl's just not on everybody's radar like that. Earl, I, I think I, Earl is is more uh, his comedy is probably gonna get to more people than his music will. To be honest with you, I don't know if y'all remember the sketch show that they, that they had. Yeah, it was on Cartoon Network, wasn't it? Yeah. Now some of them skits and stuff he did, I, I can definitely see him. Um, being an actor and kind of going like a a, a child that's getting being a route if he decided to do that, but musically mm-hmm. I don't think people are checking for Earl like that other than the heads. I like how mm-hmm. you said like it's the heads because that's true. Yeah, like you you hit the nail on the head with that one, man. I think it narrows it down, but I hope some. I really hope just for the sake of hip hop and the culture, I really hope somebody finds it like and, and uploads it or it just comes out and they start streaming it. Cause I'd be, I, I'm curious to hear what they would sound like. You know what I mean? Alchemist. I don't know when the last time he dropped a, a, a project with someone else exclusively where I was like, okay, this one is subpar. This one is, you know, right. average, like him and Gibbs knock it out the park. Like, every single time they do something you know what i mean so i have no doubt that they would be able to do the same thing if this is what that is you, you know what i mean yeah. yeah i think i think you know though uh you know even though earl doesn't have that big of a pull alchemist kind of does though you know like he does he, oh yeah especially after you know the stuff I mean? he's done with gibbs and even like even being on like Vice and stuff with uh, Action Bronson and stuff like that, and or his show, or and, even if you go back to his stuff he did with Mob Deep and specific with Prodigy, and you know, yeah. Alchemist is known yeah. out there. Yeah. So, Jay Moore, you pretty much share our, our sentiments on this, or you got anything to add to Look, the to the sauce? If, if 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 it really is a thing, and they got people searching. You know, I think this is a dope way of getting people interested in a particular project. Um, you got to try new things. I mean, the traditional rollouts just aren't aren't. That's not what's happening. Not only in a in a digital and streaming world, but in a post pandemic world. If we're not re- that, we're completely out of this pandemic thing. But 
you have to do different things to get people's attention. Everybody is going to have to figure out something different to get that same attention that they had before. Like, you know, people talk about how the ratings are down for the NBA and and MLB and especially NHL. Nobody wants to talk about how NHL ratings are down, but uh, there's a political slant on that, but I'm not going to get into it. But, um, you got to understand you got to engage people in different ways. Um, just saying, hey, I got an album coming out. Here are some videos. I'm going to go and, and and sit on these couches and, and talk about this particular project, and you should get excited about it. That's not yeah. going to work. You have to get yeah. people engaged in a completely different way. Like, And so I'm here for the like the way Khaled would say the 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 mysterious rollouts and the mysterious albums or whatever you know I'm I'm hoping it's a real thing that we you know someone figures out and then we not his though we we not here for his we not here for his you know I'm I'm just saying that like you know in 2021 you're going to have to be more creative just saying that I'm particular artist and you should be interested in my music when there are 10 albums that come out every week and people's listening patterns and and what that you know there's no for a lot of people there's not a commute to work when they would listen to no. music or listen to whatever Dang. um Dang. and so now you got to grab their attention a different way and so like i'm 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 interested by this i'm not sure exactly how i'm going to get involved with it but i hope there's an actual project behind it so everyone's not just right. wasting your time speaking hey. of creative go ahead long well, I was just going to say, like, if this is truly an album rollout, it's the longest album rollout in the history of the world because <laughs> this first tweet oh, went no. out in 2019. Oh, no. I mean, detox isn't real. So, uh, but yeah, doesn't do say, that. T- 2019, uh, January is when the original tweet went out. So it's over two and a half years. But <laughs> yeah, I, I, but Jay, to Jay's point, I mean, if this is real, it is kind of a dope thing, you know, like it is different. You Yo, know, this is the type of theatrics I'm, I'm okay with. Like this is fine. Yeah. It's not, you know. And I'm not I'm not on uh I'm not on Sky Zoo's promo team or none of that, but speaking of creative stuff, I saw him uh release something today where he's going to do uh a limited um edition. He has limited edition merch is coming out. Perform his album the night it comes out, before it comes out, before it hits the streaming services live. 25 tickets is the max. And um, he has a sign, he has 25 signed posters for his album that's signed by him and his son. I guess five. Yeah. Like I saw, I saw him put, hold up one of the posts, and you can see his son's like four. So you can see him write his name, Miles, like real big on the poster. He's named after Miles Davis. Like stuff like that. And he said he has pens and stuff that are come that, that are gonna come out. That's different. I, I haven't seen somebody have their son do an autograph poster with them. Like little things like that, uh, performing f- performing the album before it comes out, like, you know, exclusive. To Jay Moore's point, it just got to be different, man. It just has to be different because there's too much music to consume and you have to ask yourself how you're going to stand out at the end of the day. Yep. So, yeah. but no, yeah. shout out to Sky Zuba, man. I'm curious to hear... Uh, Album. Shout out to Kenny Keys too, the homie man. I know Kenny Keys, long nose Kenny Keys, and I see that D Dad his first. Yeah, what well, I mean, you know of him. I know uh, Kenny Keys, yeah. Yeah, he they've had their uh, his first two singles. So salute to those brothers, man. That's dope. Chicago. Yeah. If you've enjoyed this segment of the New Old Heads podcast, make sure to join our live show every Tuesday from nine to eleven p.m. Eastern on twitchtv Heads. And we invite you to join our hip hop community on Discord. Access it by going to newoldheads.com/community for talks on hip hop, sports, music, news, and everything else.